Are you tired of spending your days just clicking away, manually configuring network devices one by one by one? Well, in this explainer, we're going to show you exactly how you can use Python to automate all those tedious tasks and, you know, finally get your time back. I mean, let's be real for a second. We have all been there, right? You're stuck in that endless loop of manual configs, making those one-by-one -one changes that just completely drain your day. And what's worse, it just swings the door wide open for some really costly mistakes. But here's the good news. There is a much smarter way to handle your network. We're talking about a way that can scale, a way that's super consistent, and a way that pretty much gets rid of those human errors altogether. And yeah, you guessed it. That solution is Python. And really, this slide sums it all up. This is the huge difference we're talking about. On one side, you've got the old way, right? The tedious manual command line work, logging into one device at a time, always with that nagging fear that a single typo could just wreck your entire change window. But then you've got the Python way, an automated script that can hit hundreds of devices at once with perfect consistency, perfect reliability. It's, it's a total game changer. All right, so first up, let's talk about what I call the manual configuration trap. This is the daily reality for so, so many of us in network engineering. And it's exactly why automation has become, well, absolutely essential. I mean, this is the daily grind, isn't it? Those endless, mind-numbing configurations, the time-sucking one-by-one changes, and always that little voice in the back of your head worried that one tiny mistake could mess up policies across the whole network. It's not just inefficient, it's straight-up stressful. Okay, so... Why Python? I mean, with all the languages out there, how did this one become the network engineer's best friend? Let's dive in. So Python basically has these superpowers that make it perfect for what we do. First off, it's simple. The syntax is clean, it's readable, which means you can focus on the network problem, not fighting with the code. Second, it has this massive ecosystem of libraries. These are like pre-built toolkits specifically for our gear. And finally, it's incredibly scalable. You can start with a tiny script and grow it into a huge enterprise-level solution. And that ecosystem I mentioned, this is where it really shines. See, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You've got these amazing libraries like NetMiko, Paramiko, and Napalm, and they are built from the ground up to deal with all the tricky parts of talking to network devices. We're talking SSH connections, different vendor commands, authentication. They do all that heavy lifting for you. Okay, let's pop open the hood and look at your new automation toolkit. There are really just three core concepts you need to get started building your own scripts. Think of these as your new power tools for managing the network. First thing in the toolkit, variables. These are your absolute building blocks. It's just a simple way to store all your key info. You know, IP addresses, device names, credentials. Super simple, but totally fundamental. So here's what that looks like in practice. That device list? It's just a list, a collection of all your device IPs. Then you have username and password variables to hold your login info. And here's the magic. You set these up once, and then your script can just grab them and use them over and over again for every single device. No more retyping. All right, next tool, control flow. Now, if variables are your raw materials, then control flow is the engine. It's the brain of your script. This is what lets you use loops to do the same thing on every device and use things like if-else statements to make decisions. You know, like, if this is a Cisco box, do this. But if it's Juniper, do that. And that first line there is everything for device IP and device list. I want you to think of this line as your own personal virtual assistant. It literally takes that list of devices you made and just, boom, goes to work, visiting every single one for you. And that if statement, that's just a quick little check to make sure your assistant is only working on the devices you want it to. And the last major tool in our kit, functions. The easiest way to think about these is like super-powered, reusable command macros. You can bundle a bunch of steps together, like log in, run a show command, grab the output, log out, and package it all into one single command. It keeps your code super clean and lets you reuse your work without copying and pasting all over the place. So in this example, we're basically creating our very own tool called get underscore device underscore uptime. Now, anytime we need to check how long a device has been online, we just call that one command. And that return part is super important. That's the function handing the information back to you. It's saying, here's the uptime I found, so you can use it for something else, like putting it in a report. Okay, enough with the theory. 
We've seen the tools. Now let's put them to work and see what kind of real results we can get. You know, when you boil it all down, almost every network automation script follows this really simple but really powerful loop. Step one, connect to a device. Step two, send it a command. Step three, grab the output. And step four, just repeat for every single device in your list. That's it. That's the core logic that's gonna drive pretty much everything you build. And just by using that simple loop, you unlock some seriously incredible power. Just imagine, pushing a new config to your entire fleet of devices in minutes instead of days. Or what about deploying new VLANs or access lists with perfect consistency every single time? You can even build a dynamic inventory that updates itself, automatically grabbing the latest serial numbers, software versions, you name it. So what's the big picture here? What's the end result of all this? Well, you get a network that's way more agile, way more reliable, and just a whole lot easier to manage. It's about shifting your role from someone who just manually types commands to someone who actually architects the network. And here is the real payoff, the why behind it all. We're talking about saving a massive amount of time. We're talking about slashing those configuration errors, and we're talking about gaining a level of control and visibility over your network that you've probably never had before. These aren't small tweaks, folks. This is a transformation. And I really want this to sink in because it is so, so true. When you learn this stuff, you're not just picking up another skill for your resume. You are literally embracing the future of network management. This is where the industry is going. So I'm gonna leave you with one final question to think about. When you look at your own day-to-day -day work, that grind we talked about at the beginning, what is the first repetitive task that you're going to automate? The journey starts right there with that very first script. Thanks so much for joining me in this explanation. Are you tired of spending your days just clicking away, 